Jennifer Schulba is in the bling business, and business is good. Her company, Vixen Accessories, was once a home party sales business, kind of like Tupperware, until Jenny took it in a different direction. I decided that uh, we should go wholesale with it. So now that's what we do, is we do wholesale um, to different boutiques and stores across Canada and in the States as well. Her clients include Hamilton Company, C&D, and Linseeds, Lorne Park Salon and Spa in Port Credit, and many boutiques in Muskoka and Collingwood. That's where I find that our jewelry is um, uh, more suited, is in boutique type little villages like that, where the women are discerning and really want to be able to stand out in the crowd and have um, different tastes. Vixen's jewelry comes from manufacturers in China, Korea, and the Philippines. Right now, we are just choosing the jewelry, um, but that is definitely one of our long-term goals, is to start designing it ourselves and tweaking little things and adding different components. A lot of our jewelry is made with um, natural stones or glass, so that's something that we really want to keep going in the future. So say something like we see a style of a necklace that we like, but we want to incorporate some of the natural materials, so that's definitely something we're working with, with our manufacturers now, is to start designing our own pieces. Because we can find jewelry in almost any kind of store, Vixen focuses on quality and trends to stay competitive. We really uh, try to keep with distinctive pieces that are more substantial. Um, our quality is a lot better and um, pieces that are going to last you forever because if you just want to go buy disposable jewelry, you can go to one of the larger chains. But with us, you're going to get pieces that are going to last you for years and also keep you um, up to date with trends. Operating a successful business and raising three very young children on her own, Jenny has found a way to make it work. What I really try to do is just when it's time with me and my kids, I really just put down my cell phone, put down my email and, and focus on them. If you want to stay on top of your A game, A for accessories that is, here's the scoop on this season's hottest trends. Trending actually for this season coming up is a not so much of the shorter pieces like the choker styles. There you're going to go for a lot longer um, uh, pieces that and tassels are going to be really big. Earrings are still going to be uh, very in as well, big chunky earrings. The metallic um, futuristic theme is going to be uh, really strong coming up. So you want to think of like clean lines, um, lots of um, metals, right? So the golds and everything. Um, also, there's like the boho look that's coming as well. So. Um, some feathers, things like that, like leather, things bohemian. What is the single best piece of advice, business advice, that you've received? Um, I've been thinking about this question. <laughs> <laughs> and what I really think is the best, I don't know if I've heard this advice before, but I just, I really believe in the law of attraction and I believe that you really need to, um, if you want something, you really need to plan it and visualize it and write it down. And I think a couple years ago, I've, I had a plan of getting into the show, The Mode Show, and um, it was like a three or four year waiting list, and now we finally got it. So that's really exciting, and it was my dream to be able to work for my company full time, which now I do it. So I think for any um, person going into their own business is that they really just need to have a clear vision and make sure that you stay on track with it and just follow it, and um, things will come your way.